Hey everyone, it's Remy. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video and I really hope you guys are too. Today we're going to be talking about how I have been recovering from my diva curl damage slash hair loss that I experienced. I've been kind of going through it for the past couple of years and we have a lot a lot of good information that's going to be jam-packed in today's video so just make sure you watch until the end because I really feel like every single one of these tips that I'm going to share with you guys today is really going to help you with your hair growth or regrowth journey. I finally opened up about it in my last video and it just felt so good to share that story with you guys and it also felt great to see the positive responses and how many of you guys could also relate to this. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about that I feel like I've mentioned a bajillion times in my recent videos is my MSM and collagen tea that I literally drink every single day. I made an entire video all about this, how I make it, it's super easy. So I will have that video linked down below. But these are the two supplements, I guess, that I add to my tea every single morning. I think like everything combined has really helped, but with these, when I first started using these alone, the first thing I noticed is my hair shedding decreased drastically. I was shedding so much hair. Like if I would run my fingers through my hair, it was scary. I would be like non-stop pulling hair out because I think I did experience a lot of scalp damage um, over the past couple of years. So it was just scary. I hated combing my hair. I hated even just touching my hair because I knew that if I just did this, Hair was coming out but look nothing's coming out and it makes me so happy msm is sulfur so these are tiny little sulfur crystals they dissolve in my tea as soon as i add it in but sulfur is just really good for your overall health and your skin and your hair do some research on it a lot of people swear by this stuff for their hair and then collagen i think you guys know about collagen it's just amazing for our hair skin and nails and we need it i'm actually basically all out of this i have probably like two more two or three more scoops left. So I gotta order a new tub of this. All right, next up I'm gonna talk about oils. So I think if you get on YouTube, one of the first things you're gonna see people recommending to you for hair growth is oil. There's a bunch of different types of oils out there that are going to help your hair, but castor oil is kind of known to be that main oil that really helps with hair growth and regrowth, especially like if you've lost hair like around your edges, your hairline, a lot of people swear by castor oil. But something that I've been doing lately is mixing it with a carrier oil, which is my sweet almond oil. Um, castor oil is really, really thick, so you do want to mix it with a lighter oil. Um, and then I've also been adding a couple of drops of tea tree oil, and this, I can just feel this stimulating my scalp. Tea tree oil kind of burns. I don't know if burns is the right word. It doesn't hurt. It's just like you can feel it. It's like almost pepperminty on your scalp. If you're gonna get castor oil, make sure that it's cold pressed, hexane and paraben free. You wanna just get the pure good stuff. I get this from Whole Foods. My sweet almond oil, I think is from Whole Foods. I'm pretty sure this is from Whole Foods. And then my tea tree oil, I get it from Trader Joe's. I like to mix them in a little bowl or sometimes I'll have this little concoction mixed up in a little plastic bottle so that it's ready to go for me whenever I want to use it. But I'll just put it on my fingertips, give myself a nice deep scalp massage with it, get the blood flow nice and going and it's just really good. It feels really, really good and also it's doing something great for your hair and helping it to grow back. So. It's like a win-win. Next up, I'm gonna share something that I've never shared before on my channel, and that is the Derma Roller. Dun, dun, dun. This thing is like scary to some people, but for me, I really like it. And I'm not a fan of needles, but I really like this thing. I get out of the shower, my hair and my scalp are nice and clean. I get this and I spray it really, really good with alcohol. What I do is just like roll it like this onto my scalp and onto any areas where I feel like I experienced a lot of hair loss or damage to that area. So basically how this works is when you're rolling it onto your scalp, it is making these tiny little holes in your skin and that signals to the body, oh, damage alert, we need to send more collagen to that area of the body that is damaged and it helps to repair it faster. And with repair also comes new hair growth. You do not, I repeat, 
do not want to use this on a dirty scalp that has any type of product or any buildup on it. I also don't use any products after I use this. My back has been hurting ever since I turned 26. It's like really not cool. All right, next up, I did get a couple of questions about these two little guys right here. So these are the supplements that I have been taking lately. The first one, these like to stick together. The first one is a vegan hair supplement called Be Well from Briogeo. And basically, there's like little fuzzy flying around from my sweater. Anyways, basically these are vegan omega-369 plus biotin supplements for healthy hair. And they taste so fishy. Blech. I hate the taste, so I try to like hold my breath when I'm swallowing this. Omega-3, 6, and 9, you need those, especially for hair growth. They're amazing for your overall health, but for hair growth, you need those. So I'm so glad that Briogeo came out with a supplement like this and not just a biotin supplement like every other hair company swears, like fixes your hair. But I've been taking that every single day along with this multivitamin. It's a one-a-day women's multivitamin. And I mean, I'm not gonna read every single thing that's in these little vitamins. You know what a multivitamin is. It just has everything that you need. It may support heart health, health, immune health, bone health, and it has biotin in it as well. So we're getting biotin from both of these. Next up, let's talk brushes, shall we? I feel like a lot of people have been really turned off to brushes ever since the curly girl method became really popular. You know, everyone kind of made the switch to using combs only, especially like a wide tooth comb. But what I found for me is that a wide tooth comb rips my hair out like no other. Ever since switching back to brushes, the detangling game has changed and not like a comb where it's like tugging and pulling out your hair but ever since switching back i've been getting a lot less hair fall and my scalp just it just loves them you can't just do these things and expect your hair to grow back without these last three things and that is staying hydrated eating healthy and exercising and then sprinkling on these little hair growth nuggets right here you're going to experience the hair growth that you are looking for you just have to be consistent with it don't do this for like a week and think that you're gonna get long luscious beautiful hair you gotta be consistent so yeah those are all the tips that i have for you guys today i really really hope that this video was helpful and if you guys have any questions at all make sure to leave them down below in the comments I will try my best to get back to every single one of you. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said, I hope this video helped. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you guys in my next video.